We're joined by Dr. David Callender, an internal medicine specialist at UVA Health. He's sitting down with Casey. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much for being here with us. Glad to be here. Yeah, thank we're you. happy to have you. And we're talking about um, the importance of getting screened for colorectal cancer. And it really is, it's so important. Can you tell us why? Well, first of all, colorectal cancer is a very common uh, cancer for individuals to get. And uh, actually, even more importantly, is death from colon cancer. It's the number two most uh, common death from cancer in the United States. So therefore, screening is extremely important. Yeah. Um, I will tell you that screening for colon cancer is great because it can prevent colon cancer, as well as it can detect it early on. And when you detect things early on, you can treat them. Oh. So that's why it's very important to be screened. All right, yes, yeah, so beneficial. Um, when should people start thinking about getting screened? Well, that's an excellent question. I think individuals should uh, start getting screened at age 45. Uh, that might be a surprise to some individuals. We've known for many decades that starting in the you know, fifth and sixth decade, screening is and was very important. With that, we've decreased the number of cases of colon cancer and deaths, and it's become very clear that in younger people, there are more cases of colon cancer. So starting at the age of 45 is very important. Okay, 45. Are there some risk factors that should maybe lead people to getting screened more frequently than others? Anything that people should know about? Yeah, so I just mentioned the average risk individuals should start at the age of 45. There are individuals that have higher risk. Those are individuals are people that have a family history of colon cancer, that have had colon cancer before, as well as certain conditions inside their bowels that could put them at increased risk, like uh, like uh, inflammatory conditions and things like that. Okay. And what screening options are available? I know there are some different ones now. Is yeah. that right? It's great. You know, we always like to have options. Yeah. So the tried and true version that people have really heard a lot about for many, many years is uh, colonoscopies. Uh, many people, that's the right thing for them. They may get a colonoscopy and then they're done for 10 years. Other people, they're not wanting to do that. So we have other options which may be indirectly uh, evaluating people's risk with things like stool-based tests. Uh, you may have seen things like um, uh, fit tests or Colgars. Those are also very important ways to be screened by individuals. All right, and then how can people determine which test to use, which one's right for them? Yeah, so I, I don't want to tell anyone what's the right test for them, so people can read about it, and they can also talk to their doctor, and we can give some uh, a personal uh, touch to uh, you know what might be best for them. So uh, just open the discussion with your medical team, and, and they'd be able to give you a great recommendation. Yeah, one thing it seems like is important to get out there, though, is it, it's not something to be scared of, right? Getting screened? Yeah. Screening is nothing to be uh, scared of at all. Your whole medical team will be along with you along the process. They'll answer any questions you have. They'll reach out to you and you can reach out to them. Nothing to be scared at at all. You need to get screened so that you can uh, be treated if you have it and as well as prevent it. Good stuff. Anything else you want to add that you think people should know about? Uh, nothing else I can add other than uh, colon cancer is very important and please uh, you know, identify if you're at risk for it as well as be screened and talk to your doctor. All right, thank you so much for taking the time for, to be here and thank you for all you do. You're very welcome, thanks for having me. Yep, we'll have you back soon. And Steve, back